Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland, and we are looking at how to program a baseline with the step sequencer in Sonar 7. I've got my Massive loaded up here. What you do is you go to Insert Soft Synths, Native Instruments, and Massive. Uh, I double click on the output, and I've got Massive here. And my screen's way too small to actually show you the whole uh, program, but for those of you who have it, it's a pretty cool bass synth. I've made a pretty basic bass line here. It's actually extremely basic. Let me show you how this is set up. Before we set up our drum with the uh, Drummatic, I switched over to the Drummatic from the battery because it was taking up less memory with the Massive. The Drummatic is actually a uh, freeware piece of software. Check this out. Really cool. You can download this for free from uh, www.e-phonic.com. That's that. Uh, let me go in here real quick and show you how this bass line is set up. Now it's set up for a really low octave. Um, however, what I did was I went into my actual track here, double clicked, and took my key up, plus 24. For those of you who don't know, an octave is 12 keys, so if you go up to 24, that's two octaves. So check out what happens if I do this. zero. All right, now let's go back into the step sequencer. You'll remember from last time we had the portamento, which really doesn't show off that well when you're using simply drums. Let me show you though what it does when you set this to mono mode instead of poly and turn your portamento up. Turn your articulation down. Like you can tie these notes together by hitting control click. Check this out. And remember too that you can adjust the velocity of these notes individually. Um, let's take these out for a second. Control right click to remove the ties. Oh, if I double click, I get this and I can adjust the velocity. You'll see that as soon as I remove the tie, the velocity option reappears again. And I can just go in and mix this up a little bit, give it more of a natural feel. And then you can keep one of these notes tied and get rid of this one. So let's play that back. even tie the top note here. Now let's go back to our massive um, and see what happens if I open that up a little bit, give it a little more sustain. Double click this. Now remember too, you can solo notes in here, which is really bizarre, you know. So if you want to have breakdowns and you want to do this live, you can actually just solo that note. So let's throw a few more notes in here so we can really see what we can do with this if we want to. Get a little bit crazy.
timeline. and I am Bill Holland.